Hey guys, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video episode, we will talk about Squarespace, what is it? And actually, I would love to show you, you know, it will be kind of a reviewing video. So how you can create your personal website basically in 15-20 minutes. So that will be a general information about what is it. Of course, as usual, I'm waiting for your comments, I'm waiting for your personal opinion and likes. And right now, check this video till the end and of course, in the description, there will be a useful link for you. So let's get down to our work. So Squarespace is a great website builder with a lot of integrated feature. It works well for um, both casual users and businesses, of course. And you know, there are a lot of tools and beautiful templates, which I adore and love them to help you bring any idea or project to life. Um, for, for example, your personal of creation of your personal website. Yep. So, website builder often boasts uh, that you know um, anyone can create the perfect website for for themselves. You know, or if you need to create your personal website to represent your uh, project for yourself, uh, because you may be an artist, musician, or a businessman. You know or even a lawyer, so you can always find the perfect template for you. So Squarespace templates are one of the first things reviewed and you need to know this. Uh, so we will start from the templates. So I'm basically clicking directly to the templates. We will get the categories of templates from the online store to the weddings, real estate and properties. So we can even create a personal CV or if you want to create your website which is connected somehow with fashion please you're welcome so i'm um, just uh just looking through these gorgeous um templates i would say that it's really nice you know and um and the next thing let's check the preview of uh, this template and you know i would say that this design is adaptive don't forget about it because you have three versions of these uh templates the third uh, the first one is for the desktop the second one is for the tablet and the third one is for mobile devices yeah uh, so we got this template and here we just looking through uh the desktop version here we got tablet one so it's just a little smaller so we can see that we don't have this and these boards from the left and right side and this is a thin i would say design for our mobile phones so i guess that we will start uh with this design so basically right now it's not almost the editor but it's kind of the editor here we have main um the, let it be the menu because it's it's the menu uh so working with directly with the menu right here we can add some pages we can add some urls uh, locations we can add our blog everything is um, pages is responsible right here for those kinds of settings so talking about a design we can change fonts remember that um, directly editing while we're clicking right here editing we added uh, we will add it the sections but the location the bottoms um i would say um, we can add some the other sections i would say uh about the widgets but phones we can only change right here so um we so you can do this right here yep uh colors i mean color palette so it's responsible for and we can add it a color palette but we have you know gray colors right here i'm not talking about the background because a background is the image but color palette of uh, the text of the content of the bottom is gray we have uh, some kinds of animations so everything that you want to add some buttons image blocks so basically you all you got right here at this menu uh, on the menu and the, with the section as design commerce and of course right here you know talking about uh, e-commerce or talking about 
the analytics i would say so basically i can see you the extra information about uh commerce yeah actually um you know squarespace was originally cms system for those who don't know what is cms it's just the abbreviation of content management system that offered a developer friendly website you know website builder uh blogging platform and hosting but new squarespace has spent some time in about in the e-commerce space to make it a seasoned contender in terms of uh an e-commerce platform and um um you know this platform um is called squarespace commerce and it offers beautiful templates of course uh and we uh of we were observing them and of course it, it is a really easy way to launch a store as right here we have this opportunity and some useful features in this in-depth marketplace over you but you know i won't say that it's in-depth uh over you it's just a general yep over you so today we are talking about uh everything about in general so basically here we have analytics and I can say that Squarespace analytics section is very powerful. Uh, you can see that here, last 30 days, we can check sales, some traffic, um, sales, if, uh, if it is, uh, for example, a website which provides uh, your personal shop, for example, uh, traffic sources, search keywords, but everything which is connected uh, with your personal analytics of the website. Yep, and I told you that it's really powerful and I would say multi-level because it includes statistics statistics on sales and we can get it right here but uh in all of parts we have zero because this is um, a template yeah uh so it includes not only statistics on sales but in traffic geography of visitors uh product sales abandoned uh, you know card sales funnel information about traffic sources and triggered search queries so the system also generates reports on the activity of visitors so the degree of popularity and uh, i would say the um, efficiency of the forms posted on the site content search uh, queries and errors and everything else that affects the success on the project so uh very cool tool and feature so don't forget about it and right now let's edit in our page so basically clicking directly to this edit button we will edit our page so people everything right here is very simple in some way for me it looks like wordpress because you know this is this is not drag and drop editor this is editor where you working uh, directly with each section if you for example would like to add it to the header so you clicking directly to the bottom of the header and you have your personal settings for example you can upload the logo uh, you can change some elements for example colors um, or add some elements such as bottom or just to uh, delete the bottom and you know without the bottom it looks better uh, for me um, the colors so colors maybe uh, just make it transparent and just wait for a little so there we have the other uh, thing we have the other variants of color so it may be black it may be just like this gray one or this or it may be in this way like this and i guess that it looks nice yep uh the next what we got here the next section and to just to um i would say you have noticed yeah to, to, just to grab your attention right here between two sections the heater and um, a body section let it be yep we have uh, the bottom of that section so clicking the same directly to this button we can add everything what we got in this panel menu panel some products newsletters forms but you know it should be um great for your website builder so uh, for the skeleton i would say so how you see it so it looks in chronological way be like uh like you see it in your head yeah so many we got but for example i would love to um to to to, to add 
uh, a tax let it be and the tax may be right here so this one um, and of course we can um, I would say to add a background and to add the image and we can upload the image from our laptops or desktops so I'm basically I've chosen the pyramids uh, it's just a part of an example yep and by the way we can add it to this image just like we added our pictures for Instagram or social accounts so everything is like here you can just to play with this one and to make it that way So um, everything is fine, save all the settings and that is how it looked like. Okay, so uh, what about the text? The next thing, clicking directly to this text, we just can make it bold or not bold, we can make a hitting in this way but all the fonts all the colors i would say of uh, this but you know color we can change for example it may be in this way or in this way or just look like this uh, or this but you know uh i know that you can have you have actually the opportunities just what uh, this template can what this template provides you but also you can change the fonts at the main menu of the editor or for example if i see that it's this background and this section it's not good clicking directly to this garbage bin and remove uh, this section so basically that is how you can work with each section i would say and for example i don't like this section i would like to do the same uh so uh talking about the pros or the advantages i can say that squarespace of course has prompts and such of them are first of all stunning templates which are optimized for desktop tablets and mobile devices uh, of course uh, i've told you that uh, squarespace has a mobile app which allow you to edit pages blog posts via these um, apps from directly from your mobile device yep and um, i would say that this squarespace is best for anyone for small business for musicians for bloggers for people who like to represent themselves uh, so that is really nice and cool option to start your personal journey of creation uh, your website with the Squarespace you know and of course uh, actually um, you know it has three types of subscriptions I would say first one is $12 per month so the second one is $18 per month uh, dollars of course and the third one is for $26 per month um, so you have to know that Squarespace offers numerous useful tools for building attractive functional sites for personal or small business use and I assure you that users will need to uh, the only thing that uh, users are need to just practice just a little to know how uh, how you uh, can work with the editor and what the templates are how do they look like yeah so this is the end of this reviewing video i'm waiting for your likes i'm waiting for your comments uh, as usual i do hope that this was interesting for you and i guess that we will see each other in the another witty episode as usual and maybe the another witty episode will be about your favorite website builder service so see ya and thank you for your attention bye